This is a 2008 Multistrada S made by Ducati. Uh, this particular bike uh, has uh, been modified slightly with some of the factory accessories, and I'll kind of go through some of those. Um, as an S model, it does include the Olean's front and rear suspension. Uh, it is fully adjustable, fully rebuildable. It does have the Marchesini uh, upgraded wheels, as well as some additional carbon fiber, uh, the carbon fiber belt guards, and also the carbon fiber front fender that did come from the factory. It does have an aftermarket seat from a manufacturer by the name of Sargent. It's substantially more comfortable uh, than the factory seat, and I will say I think it looks better as well. Um, the bike is equipped with the Terminioni uh, aftermarket exhaust. It sounds spectacular, which I'll fire it up for you here in a minute. And it is uh, also complemented by the uh, uh, power commander uh, for the fuel injection. So the throttle you know, uh, uh, is real crisp, and it, it definitely runs good with, with uh, very few flat spots, actually none. Um, I've also included the uh, power uh, uh, outlet here uh, so you can plug in your accessories. And we've done a zero gravity aftermarket shield uh, that both is tinted, it makes it a little easier to read the instruments, and also being the double bubble design uh, allows for better wind protection. This particular bike also has the factory uh, heated grips from Ducati, and it does have ASV uh, aftermarket adjustable levers so you can get the position exactly where you'd like. Um, You'll notice the way it's configured right now, it's set up for uh, two riders. Uh, it's got the rear seat uh, as well as the front seat. The rear seat is removable and it does come with a solo seat cowl, which I'll show you. Makes the bike look a little sportier. And it just clicks into place like that. Uh, and as you can see from an aesthetic standpoint, it definitely looks more sport bike, a little bit less cruiser bike. Um, if you have added stuff to take with you, it also includes the rear top case, which you can see just basically pops on like that. And it's locked into place. It is lockable. So anything that you want uh, to be secure, you can put place in the back here. It does also hold a full uh, face helmet, so you can lock your helmet uh, in the top case if you decide. Um, this particular bike was designed to be uh, used on multi, uh, for, for multi-uses. Uh, obviously, the name Multistrada might imply multi-roads. Um, so it's a type of bike that's good for you know, cruising, uh, weekend uh, 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 weekend rides, you know, through the canyons, um, long rides, it's decent on the freeway, um, and you can use it for very limited, but uh, certainly some off-road work and um, uh, in adverse conditions where the, you know, pavement's real bumpy and, and potholy, if you will. Uh, the suspension really soaks up a lot of those bumps. Um, so you can see the bike itself obviously is, uh, you know, more than one bike. It's sort of a, a Swiss Army Knives of uh, Ducati, and um, it's been a lot of fun to ride and own. So this bike has a fully functional uh, instrumentation. It does offer uh, uh, onboard trip computer as well as a conventional tachometer. It is a white-faced uh, old Vigilia style tachometer like Ducati's had for years in terms of their tradition. Uh, it does have a tubular style uh, handlebar that can be modified or changed. So if you wanted the bars to be higher or lower, that would be an option as well. And you'll notice that it does have a hydraulic clutch and a hydraulic brake and both reservoirs are right there. On the top of the triple clamp, you'll notice the adjusters for the uh, Olean suspension. And I've also added a power outlet uh, so that you can uh, power up any uh, uh, electronic accessories you may carry with you. Um, the engine itself is a V-twin, uh, 90 degree, uh, two valve per cylinder, Desmodronic valve actuated V-twin from Ducati. Uh, it is the last of the air-cooled uh, models and has a bit of a cult following uh, these days because of its simplicity and, and also uh, the torque that it makes uh, as well as the aesthetics. It doesn't have all the hoses and uh, uh, the radiator and some of the things you'll find on a more, uh, a more conventional water-cooled engine. Uh, it's chain driven. You'll also notice that it has a single side swing arm. Uh, makes the wheel uh, able to be removed from one side with still having the chain and sprockets attached. Uh, and is, is part of the uh, style as well uh, of the traditional Ducati. Uh, up front, you'll notice it has uh, uh, Brembo calipers. Um, and again, you can see the, uh, the gold sliders on the, on the Olean suspension and the uh, carbon fiber front fender and Marchesini wheel. Uh, all very high-end uh, components, all uh, from Italy. 
So now we're at the front end of the motorcycle. Uh, you'll notice it's unique uh, fairing uh, designed by Pierre Terblanche. Um, originally when it was designed, it was a bit controversial because there wasn't really any motorcycles that looked like it. Uh, Ducati gave kind of free reign uh, to Pierre to design a bike that he wanted to ride. Uh, and that's how he came up with this design that was both sporting as well as comfortable, offered good wind protection, uh, but wasn't a bulky uh, fairing. You'll notice that the uh, headlight uh, also has a projector beam style headlight at the top and a more conventional headlight at the, at the bottom. Uh, the top is a running uh, headlights for added safety. Um, the mirrors themselves also integrate the turn signals, um, so thereby eliminating the, the turn signals that normally would stick out the sides of the fairing, uh, leaving the design a bit more uncluttered.